What is up guys? <clears throat> First event of the year for autocross route in Lubbock, Texas. Um, I'll throw the track map here. Yesterday I got the car pretty dialed in. Um, I'm over the last two days. Got the shifter realigned. Feels a lot better. I haven't tried any no-lift shift yet because I'm scared to make it. It's going to make me angry that it doesn't work, but we'll see today. Um, did uh, OEM trans fluid. Uh, switched out some TTY bolts and other stuff, but we're in line to get teched. This will be Eric's first event ever in his very fast Camaro, so we'll see how this goes. Right there was a GT3. I'm excited to see all the Porsches today. Um, yeah, you guys know how things go this morning. All right, so all tucked in and stuff. Uh, went and walked the track. Um, on paper, it doesn't look that that fast and stuff but it's gonna be quick and I'm very excited we only got two solemns in it there's not any real like super tight spots and there is a stop box at the end so it'll be a good test on the brakes today uh, my tires are about shot like they're not down to the middle bars yet you know what I'm talking about but they're almost there today will probably be the last event on these tires I need to order some new ones which is fine I knew that was gonna happen but uh, we're, we're about to get in line for the parade lap um, I need to figure out a place to slap the GoPro for first laps, I'm in the first group, six laps, and then six laps in the afternoon, and they're all timed. So, and the winner of today gets a gets 10 liters of Motul 300V um, oil. That's just from one of the sponsors. So that'd be really nice. I need to switch to that stuff. Anyway, I should already be on it, but that'd be really dope. I don't think I'm gonna beat out these Porsches, but um, we'll see how well I can do today. Really excited. Cars dialed, cars dialed in. She's feeling great. Tune's great. Got a little bit of ethanol in the tank sitting like E25. So, here we go. All right, so I forgot to record the parade lap, but should be intense. I'm not gonna record the first couple laps. I'll probably start the GoPro in the third and then move it up to the front of the car. I'll try and get someone to use this camera at some point to at least get a lap. Um, I got one good friend here and he's racing too right after me so maybe he'll be able to record for me and I can get a couple laps for him we'll see probably do that in the afternoon though when I got the better runs but should be fun in my group there is three Corvettes two RC5s one RC6 Z06 we got S2000 RX8 looks like uh, there's a right hand drive Aristo and another s2000 and the auto oh and a, a focus rs so we'll see how this goes morning my first like three or four laps didn't count because I kept messing it up and I got two good laps in out of my seven because I had a rerun because the timers messed up not a great morning for me <laughs> could say I'm a little rusty I haven't raced like this since what October so got my head in the game uh, there's still like we, we've done we went through all, all the groups now so far and I think the best is like a 54 or something and I'm sitting at I think 57 six so I got definitely got some room for improvement, but I'm only like one less than two seconds behind the fastest person in my group, um, which is I forget 
I forget what it is. Anyway, we'll, we'll look at the list after these laps are done, but I'm gonna take the first one as kind of a warm up and then uh, go ham for the first two or the, the next two, so two and three. Maybe take four as a cool down and then go hard for five and six. So we'll see how this goes. It's hot out in the Texas heat. <laughs> damn near 90. Got a nice breeze going though. I'm not gonna show you the times or anything yet because there's still two more run route groups to go, but I managed to push out. So my best before the second half of the day was like a 57.9, I think. And my goal was a 55.9, so I could at least be like second place in my group. But I wound up on my very last lap getting a 54.4, I think. Like kicking total ass. That put me in second place overall for the day, only behind the S2000 that always kicks my ass in uh, Amarillo. Dude is a phenomenal driver. They actually have an award named after him that they give away at the Amarillo events um, just because he's, he's that good. So being right behind him on his butt is like, I, I that's awesome. And I'll show you guys the award when I get home, but I am super ecstatic. I drove my butt off today. It is 93 degrees. My old temp was getting up to like 250 something. Air intake temps 
sitting in a paddock was like 160 something ridiculous. But the car handled great, had tire pressures were like 30 pounds all around. I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see it in the videos, but my tail was getting out. I was doing legitimate all-wheel drive drifts around corners and then into solemns and stuff. It was so freaking awesome and it was controlled. And it was, I would just, as soon as it would start to, like I'd let off the throttle and it would start to kick out and I would just hammer it. Wow! It was awesome, so awesome. I was peaking like 32-ish pounds of boost. I, like I said earlier, I got a little bit of ethanol in the tank. Car was running just great. I am so happy. Sounds so good. Um, I'm just so happy. I ho hopefully no one comes through and beats my time. Like I said, there's still other cars to go, but uh, wow. What an event. This is just the first. We got so many more events to do this summer and uh, these tires are pretty much beat. So once I get some new rubber on here, it's gonna be even better. Um, if I get to retune on full ethanol here after putting this baby in, um, man, I can imagine the low end. And I spent the majority of the morning I did in first gear and then this the very last lap, I uh, short shifted in the second before the first turn even and just stayed in second for like, I don't know, like the first quarter of it. And staying in second was a lot better because I wasn't like banging off rev limiter and it was a little bit more control because there's so much power to, and, and first gear, you know, getting up there, you get so much power so fast. It's, sometimes it's a little hard to control, but second gear made it a little bit easier to control, um, especially like matting it in the corners and first gear, you, you, you got boost right away. And, you know, so if you're heading towards a cone that you want to like cut that corner and you're, you're in first gear and you hammer it, like you're there and like the car is like, and you let off the throttle or you hit, um, rev limiter and then you know the car is out of balance so staying in second gear and hitting the throttle earlier to anticipate um, the power at where you want it to kick in um, it was a little bit on the mind but it worked out better clearly um, I'm gonna have to remember that I don't really like playing around in second gear too much especially in the lower RPMs I don't, I don't like being in second anywhere under like 4,000 but I think I got it down to, to low threes at one point it took a second to get back up but it was nice I also had the Suspension set to 25 positive clicks on all corners out of 30 with the BCs. I still need to go with a little bit of a stiffer spring, I think. Um, but I'm happy. I mean, really, suspension-wise, it's like perfect. Other than I think it needs a little, be a, a little bit more stiff. Um, rear camber's perfect. Front camber's perfect. I'm not really losing grip. Besides, when the tires get really hot, and that's, I think that is the part of the reason they're getting so hot is because they're so worn. There, there isn't much tire left at all. So, yeah. All right, I've been rambling. Time to go watch my friend. My friend. Get it. First time out of the autocross. First in class. Zoom enough. Listen that thing. How'd that feel? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stick shift driver, my boy. <laughs> Let it rip. You got you got one more lap? Oh, what was it? 58096. 58096. First time out. Give me some. Hell yeah. Yo, so second place overall, 54-4. My first run of the day that was actually timed was I think a 59. So I took off quite a bit of time. Freaking homie over here wound up at like a 56. Seven, I think or 58 first time out at autocross started out with a 71 first lap of the day the second lap was like a 68 crazy oh, I'm looking at my face now spent a lot of time in the Sun very hot day and now there's like a big storm coming in it looks like crap out here there's just dust everywhere it's crazy but it's been an awesome day car performed great the only thing that I can really take from this is because I got these pads that are made specifically for autocross, but a course like this, the Lubbock events is with the Porsche Club. They usually have, it's more, more. there's more speed involved. And the Amarillo events, um, 
they're more more technical there's not as much speed so my brake pads won't get as hot over there and there's more time in between laps over there as well um, but I think I might step up to a, a slightly higher uh, threshold for temperature on the pads so maybe like a what's it called because I'm running a Carbon Tech AX6 which is AX autocross um, I don't think they have another autocross pad but I could just step up to like the whatever 10 or 12 I forget what I used to run. They were really good. Now I got something in my eye. Anyway, baller ass day. Can't wait for the next one. We got a double autocross event for the next autocross. June 20 and 21. Saturday night and Sunday morning at the same place. So, I don't know if it'll be two different courses or if we're running the course backwards in the morning on Sunday morning, but um, yeah, so it was like three, three weeks or so away. Four weeks. About a month sucks got a little taste of autocross and i don't get it again for a month maybe uh new mexico will open up soon from this COVID stuff and then uh roswell can start doing their autocross too actually yeah they can because they have drag strip open this weekend so maybe they'll uh, throw an autocross date out before uh this next one and then dallas june 10 and 11 streetcar takeover um and in july i think but there's streetcar takeover in Denver in July. So, got a bunch of things coming up. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you on the football. Looks crazy. I thought my car was rubbing on.